and that's affected. Now some of that's his choices off the dribble there. And you know calls like that can go either way. <laughs> just it just depends. For the tie, got it to go. Hammered it around. 53-53. This one to give the Spartans a lead with 8.6 to go. Now if he makes this. Look for App State to try to get the ball up the floor and call timeout right as they pass half court. If he makes makes the shot, make or miss. But could be Justin Forrest. Got them both. Going to get it right now. Timeout well, right now. Yeah, Norfolk State takes the timeout. Winning, fellas, they're down one. Their hot hand has been Justin Forrest in this half. And if you said defensively you want to deny him, right? Well, and the Spartans, this is where their multiple defensive approach is tough for opponents to know because you come out of that timeout they could be in a man they could look to blitz and double team they could be in a zone and so you've got to be prepared to play concept basketball it's less about drawing up a play well and the first thing is you got to have your best inbounder inbound in this basketball because it, whatever play you've drawn up is not going to work and you see Almonte taking the ball out so you can look for some sort of action where App State's going to try to get a guy going to the corner, and now they'll bring up Forrest up the middle of the floor. Almonacy in a little trouble getting it in. Got it into Gregory. Back to Almonacy. Three. Off the mark. Forrest at the buzzer. No, no good. Norfolk State survives after a huge lead that they saw slip away. They're going to slip in to a matchup with top seed Gonzaga as they win by one. App State uses Justin Ford.